Just an hour north of Miami lies the quiet coastal town of West Palm Beach, known for its family-friendly beaches, stunning sunsets, and active nightlife. It's a place where image is everything. It's only fitting that it's also home to an esteemed organization that is well known for helping kids with their appearance. Locks of Love is a national nonprofit organization and we provide custom cranial prosthesis to children with medical hair loss. Our recipients generally have a diagnosis of alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune disease. It has no known cause and no known cure. Essentially, your body in lay terms is allergic to its hair, so it tries to get rid of it. We provide for these children and young adults a cranial prosthesis, which is a fancy name for a custom hairpiece for them to wear so that they have self-esteem and self-confidence. Madonna Kaufman is the founder and president of Locks of Love. After suffering the devastating effects of alopecia herself, she experienced a defining moment in her life that would change the landscape of children who suffered from premature hair loss due to cancer and a variety of other extenuating circumstances. The inspiration behind what I did with Locks of Love was my daughter's recovery from alopecia when she was four and a half, five years old. I personally developed alopecia in my early 20s and was happy to forget about it and move on with my life. And then in 1997, when my daughter developed alopecia and subsequently recovered, I like to say I finally got the message. I didn't get the message the first time that this is maybe what I should do. And her recovery made me realize that I needed to pay it forward. That defining moment in her life has changed the future of thousands of kids over the last 25 years. With the developmental years being the most important time in a child's life and having a traumatic event such as this happen to them, the thinking was we need to help the children have self-esteem and self-confidence. So to provide the prosthesis that help them to be involved in things that children are supposed to be involved in and to be active as a child, we wanted to give them the best possible hair replacement system that existed so they could be children again and put smiles back on their faces. Since its inception in 1997, the generous donations of time, hair, and money from so many around the world have made Locks of Love one of the most well-respected charitable organizations in the U.S. While the recipients are thankful for the generosity of so many, the donors themselves find the experience to be equally rewarding. Celebrities from all walks of life have eagerly stepped forward for this worthy cause. So I like to call it a win-win because the donors seem to get a lot of satisfaction and self-esteem out of it, as well as our recipients. Without the hair donors that I consider volunteers, um, Locks of Love wouldn't be where we are today. We don't have to buy the hair to give to our manufacturer. We pay for the manufacturing process. The children and the families get the prosthesis for free, always. So the hair donors have been a big part of the foundation for Locks of Love. My reward is seeing the change that it's made for the children and their families. Being the mother of a child that grew up with alopecia, I can tell you that it affects the siblings and the parents and the whole family unit. I'm a volunteer, I don't get paid, and the feedback that I get in thank you letters and Christmas cards and stories is the best paycheck that I could ask for because it lets me know that we've made the difference that we hope to make and that is our end goal.